So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to save this page, save as, I'm going to call it lesson nine, because it's, uh, it's going to be lesson nine. I'm trying to save the pages for you as many as I can, so you can look at the source code just in case you get lost as you're doing the course. So what we're going to do now is we're going to simplify our code. I'm just going to get rid of these tag selectors for now. And so we're left with our ID selector and our class selector. And so what do I want to talk about? In the last lesson, I mentioned to you that you don't want to repeat code in your pages, whether it be CSS code, HTML code, or in programming, JavaScript code, whatever language, PHP, Python code. One of the basic rules of coding is not to repeat code. So let me give you an example of how this works in CSS a little bit. So for instance, you notice how we use the class of super P on two different paragraph tags, right? And here are the super P CSS rules that we use. So let me just copy that. Now, if you remember back in the HTML course, I used the style attribute to apply CSS to uh, elements in the page. I forget what elements, remember? Elements and tags are equal to each other means the same thing. Now remember back in previous examples, I used style equals open quotes and then I close quotes and here's of all our CSS rules, our CSS properties and the value, the property and the value. Anyway, so remember I did that. Now we could do that here as well. Right. Now this works. Now problem is though, I've repeated code. I have the same exact CSS rules for both paragraphs. And so that's double the code for no good reason. So that means that if I want to change it, I have to go back to two different spots. If I want to change this to red, I have to go here, I have to go here and you know, and so on. So imagine you had many paragraphs on many pages where you put the style attribute on and you put your CSS rules right on the tags themselves. It works, but it creates a lot of extra work for you and it leaves a lot of openings for mistakes to be made and uh, bugs to come out. I know it's hard to understand maybe how this would happen, but trust me, less code is better. So how do you solve that? Well, you go back to using a class. So since both paragraphs are gonna be exactly the same, we're gonna have a font color of red, we're going to have a font size of 16 pixels. It makes sense to create a class for that. So let me just turn this to red up here. And I'm just going to remove this. And I'm going to say class equals, and I'm going to say super P. Remember, when you use your class attribute on the tag, it's class equals open and close quotes, of course. When you name your class that you created up here in the CSS, you don't include the period. You don't include this. That means you don't do this. That won't work. You have to go just name the class. This period here for a class and this number sign for an ID, this is only used inside of your CSS code, not in your HTML. So I got the class super P here. Let me select that, super P there. There you go. You see how much cleaner that is, much less code. So let me preview that, make sure everything's cool. See, it's, it's red. So imagine you have many pages and you don't want this text to be red anymore. You go, who wants red text? You want it to be, uh, I don't know, gray. Boom. Now I've only had to change it in one place and all our paragraphs now have gray text. Now you see why, it's just a small example of why you want to use classes and how using classes will avoid you having to repeat code over and over again, which means less mistakes and less work.